It's been more than three years since DJI launched the Mavic 2 Pro, and after all the speculations, its next generation version has been unveiled with some mind-blowing upgrades, and the Mavic branding hasn't changed as we have seen for the other DJI products. Undoubtedly, the Mavic 3 packs excellent features and, as expected, comes with a high price tag as well. What's most impressive about the Mavic 3 is that they made all of these improvements while actually reducing the weight. So, for those looking forward to buying a DJI drone and considering the Mavic 2 Pro as an option, we will be showing you an overall comparison with the newly announced Mavic 3 so that you find out which one to go for. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. First and foremost, DJI has been able to make the Mavic 3 lighter than the Mavic 2 Pro. Weighing around 7 grams less than the preceding models, this is the first foldable consumer drone to offer a dual camera setup. Coming to the top, you will find the camera that is co-produced with Hasselblad. And this is where the Mavic 3 stands out, having a larger sensor and a telephoto lens for further zoom. The new Mavic 3 features a 4x3-inch CMOS sensor compared to the 1-inch sensor of the Mavic 2 Pro. This will capture more light while shooting videos and perform tremendously well even in low lights. And with the Mavic 3, you can capture up to 5.1K resolution videos at 50 frames per second and 4K videos at 120 frames per second. On the contrary, the Mavic 2 Pro can shoot up to 4K at 30 FPS and doesn't even use the full sensor when shooting video clips. Perhaps this is to prevent overheating, considering the compact housing of the drone, which resulted in line skipping and compromising the overall quality of the footage. However, the standard version of the Mavic 3 supports the H.264 codec, and the Cinev version on the other hand supports Apple's ProRes 422HQ codec for capturing more natural color. Certainly, you will find more professional looking footage with the Mavic 3 compared to the Mavic 2 Pro. Moreover, the new drone has a wider field of view of 84 degrees, whereas the Mavic 2 Pro could offer only a 77 degree viewing angle. Another upgrade for the Mavic 3 is the additional 1x2-inch CMOS telelens that offers up to 4 times digital zoom or 28 times hybrid zoom. And for still images, both the drones can capture 20 megapixel sharp photos. So, if you want to capture aerial shots with zooming capabilities, no other prosumer drone can be as good as the Mavic 3. The obstacle avoiding sensor has also been an upgrade for the DJI Mavic 3, with an infrared sensor at the bottom of the aircraft. It features the APAS 5.0 that can sense obstacles from every side and move away. And for transmitting live footage, the new drone comes with DJI OcuSync 3 Plus that offers a 15 km max transmission range, whereas the OcuSync 2.0 from Mavic 2 could transmit live videos within only 10 km range. Besides, the Mavic 2 Pro could transmit HD videos at 30 FPS and the Mavic 3 can transmit full HD videos at 60 FPS, ensuring a clear view from the bird's eyes. DJI has also lessened up the hassle for cinematographers, as the DJI Mavic 3 Cine comes with 1TB of built-in storage compared to the 8GB of Mavic 2 Pro. So, you'll be able to capture raw footage as much as you want without the hassle of removing the SSD card too often. The battery life has also been a huge upgrade for the DJI Mavic 3. Previously, you could fly the Mavic 2 Pro only for 31 minutes, whereas the new drone offers a maximum flight time of 46 minutes. This even beats out the Autel Evo 2, which boasts up to 40 minutes of flight time, so you won't have to miss the perfect shots due to less battery life. The only thing that keeps the Mavic 2 Pro ahead is the pricing, but with such upgrades, the high price tag of the Mavic 3 is surely worthy enough. The new drone offers more flight time, a 50% jump in the camera performance with ProRes codec for the best aerial shots. So, if you want to have the best consumer drone by your side, the Mavic 3 is sure to impress you with its overall performance. What do you think of this new drone? Let us know in the comments section. Like and share with your friends if you found the video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.